So you beautiful people, in today's video, I'm going to share some information about Call of Duty 2020. Now this was all done yesterday by exclusive Ace. However, he had to take the video down. Now I don't know why, uh, It's whether it was Activision who had struck the video, whether he was told he needed to take it down or action would be taken. I'm not quite sure, but there were certain things he presented in the video that probably got him in a little bit of trouble. I've done leaks on my channel several times and I've been told by certain people who have given me leaked information that there is a certain way that it needs to be presented so Activision doesn't come for you. Now, sometimes it will, sometimes they won't. So maybe Exclusive Ace was unlucky in this particular uh, time. But one thing I will say about this gentleman is I've followed him since Black Ops 3, so near enough five years. And I've never felt the need to dislike one of his videos. I've never felt the, the need to leave his channel. I feel like he's a stand-up guy. So I definitely believe these leaks that he's got, what, from what he says is a reputable source, are true. So I'm going to go through those, but we're going to try and put it out in a way where you guys get the information, but I don't get a smack on the wrist also. So... A lot of us believe that this game is set in the Cold War era and Ace seems to believe this is true from his source. Uh, apparently the game is in a good state and most of the multiplayer maps are already done and also they have stated that the game is in a fully playable state but the animations aren't complete as yet. Now, one of the biggest things that I seem to be happy about that he mentioned is the fact that the standard mini map should be returning and it will be similar to previous Call of Duties uh, prior to the release of Modern Warfare. Now, for those of you who haven't played Call of Duty in its golden age, I will say, you have absolutely missed out. The mini map working the way that it should traditionally keeps the flow of the game and it is an additional skill for more skilled players to utilize it. Also, a lot of people talk about red dot chasing, but there's only a certain way you can chase red dots without getting killed yourself. So you have to have a degree of skill. But I digress. Let's move forward. Now, even though the standard minimap is supposed to come back, it is going to be married with the traditional compass. Well, I call it traditional because that's what we have now from Modern Warfare. In terms of the game that I love at the moment, which is Warzone, apparently this is going to return, but it will be dressed up in the same guys as the game that we're going to be playing uh, later, in the latter part of this year. No release date as yet, but Ace did speculate uh, September, October. I'm going to stay, I'm going to st say it's going to come out near enough the same time as the PlayStation 5. If not, it will be released with the PlayStation 5. That's my gut feeling here. But yes, Warzone will come back. Uh, but it will be a new map and it's obviously going to pertain more to the new Call of Duty because it's going to have to be dressed up in a certain theme, certain skins, certain textures. Uh, obviously, the guns will replicate guns from that era. That's what I'm hoping anyway and that's what I'm getting from this particular video. In terms of the unlimited sprint, it should be returning. Uh, however, we won't have the double sprint aspect that we have in Modern Warfare currently, which is something I'm actually happy about because there have been several occasions now where I've, I've, I've got sprintitis just like I've got reloaditis. Call of Duty has taught me some really bad habits and I'm sure you guys can empathize with what I'm saying here. I can't help but reload even after shooting one bullet and I love sprinting around like a headless chicken and that's something that I couldn't do in Modern Warfare without being penalised and that was the reason why I didn't really play that game as much. So we're at that portion of the video where I have to give portions of the leaks that I would consider bad news because I've just mentioned a few of them there. Apparently we are going to see the return of 150 health which is similar to what went on in black ops 4 which a lot of you guys will know I, I wasn't a fan of at all however there should be an auto heal 
instead of um, the stim shot being used for health regeneration. So that kind of balances the bolt a bit more. And the fact that because I've played Warzone for so long now, I am so used to ensuring that I finish my enemy off, which possibly could have the likes of 250 health. So I, maybe that's put me in good you know a good position to play this game and like it a bit more than i previously liked black ops 4 but again i would prefer to have a similar health system to uh the the previous call it uh, previous call of duty from treyak but just not black ops 4 which i just I, I, there was a lot about that game i didn't like specifically the specialists and talking of specialists they are according to ace not going to be returning however we will be seeing a field upgrade like feature similar to modern warfare returning in the game so basically specialists but something more war orientated something a bit more plausible in the game that you would find in those particular areas areas instead of some random coming with some gravity spikes and knocking the all hell out of you <laughs> so, so basically it sounds like it's going to be a bit more feasible in the game. Dead Silence is not in the game in its current state, according to Ace. Um, and uh, I really got to say to you, this really upsets me. This is what turned me off Modern Warfare in the end, because I, as I've stated, like to sprint around, do what I got to do, fast twitch shooter that's what call of duty has always been in the multiplayer aspect so to hear that they've might not incorporate something that has been traditional in this game is just going to have people sitting in corners and that's why i found modern warfare really boring and for those of you who have never played a call of duty before modern warfare but you 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 support and you defend modern warfare i don't think you're in the best place to make that judgment if you've never actually played call of duties before that to understand where people like me are coming from when we say modern warfare is a very very campy game nothing wrong with camping however the, the, the it's very stale in a game that's supposed to be a fast twitch shooter when everybody's just sat there and most of your games are going to time out when we talk about the creator class system Ace goes on to say that it's unique and it's a hybrid between the pick 10 and the classic system, but we won't be seeing the gunsmith. Now, this may disappoint a lot of you hearing that there, but the way I see it is if we're going to the 60s, the 70s and, the, and those types of errors, the weapons technology wouldn't be nothing like the modern era. So in terms of a gunsmith, it probably wouldn't be as feasible in a cold war era game because of the lack of attachments the lack of uh the plethora the plethora of weapons would be much different and less significant than modern warfare modern warfare has got new technology in the game we've we've advanced so far from back in the 60s in terms of weapons so that would make sense why there's no gunsmith but don't write treyarch off just yet because they may have some some ace up their sleeve we shall see and that's something i'm interested to see a hybrid be between the pick 10 and the classic obviously ghost was similar to that in terms of its pick it had a pick 13 system didn't it so maybe there's something like that going on there we'll have to find out um when the, more information comes out in terms of 6v6 that will be the standard player count, according to Ace, and there isn't a gunfire fire mode from what he has said. However, that does seem to be Infinity Ward's baby, and it's not a massive loss to me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same. And finally, there is apparently a mode which is multiplayer orientated, but it takes place in various sections of the Warzone map, which is apparently going to be set in russia now to me there are loads of good portions of this but there are a few grenades that i've been throwing that i really think would be bad for this game before it's even begun now modern warfare apparently according to activision was well received but i don't 
I don't know if that's true personally, um, especially with the way they've pushed Warzone. Was there a hidden agenda from them to push Warzone and Modern Warfare? Because it is very clear to me, Warzone was designed first and Modern Warfare was came second because it was based around Warzone. It's very clear and evident to see now that that game is out. So we'll have to see where Treyarch goes with this. For me, I feel like Activision in the future will start prioritizing Warzone over multiplayer. As much as it hurts me to say that I'm just being, you know, I'm being sensible, I'm being realistic, and this game, Warzone, is apparently making them $3 million a day. So why wouldn't they prioritize that particular game? Guys, there are many buttons you could hit, but a like and subscribe button. I hope they took your fancy. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.